how many AUD can be purchased with 7,000 CHF? And we have this table here with some currencies along the top and down the side. And then we have an example of how to use the table, which says one USD equals 3.68 PEN. So we want to convert 7,000 CHF, which is here on the table, into AUD, which is here on the table. And we can see that they don't overlap. So we can't directly convert from CHF to AUD. We're going to have to go using one of these three currencies here. So we could use GBP, USD or EUR. Uh, they should all give you the same answer. So let's just do GBP because it's at the top. So let's use this example to start with to make sure we're using the table correctly. So it says one USD equals 3.68 PEN. So one USD, if we go across to PEN, equals this value here of PEN. So we can say the same for GBP, one GBP equals, and if we go across to CHF, then it will equal 1.30 CHF. Now we want 7,000 CHF, uh, so the easiest thing to do is to get one CHF on its own and then multiply it by 1,000. And to get one on its own, we just want to divide by this value here. So 1.30 divided by 1.30 will give us one. And then we'll just do the same on the other side too. So we end up with one CHF equals one over 1.3 GBP. Now we've got one CHF, but we want 7,000. So we're just gonna multiply by 7,000 on both sides. So we end up with 7,000 CHF equals 7,000 divided by 1.3 GBP. And if we work this out, we end up with 7,000 CHF equals 5,384.62 GBP. So we've converted now into GBP. Now we can use that to convert into AUD. So we'll start off the same way. We'll say that one GBP is equal to, and we'll go across to AUD, which is here. So it equals 1.82 AUD. And we've got 5,384.62 GBP. So all we need to do is multiply both sides by this value. So 5384.62 multiply on both sides. So on the left side, we'll have 5384.62 GBP. And on this side, we just need to type these in the calculator and we end up with 9,800 AUD. And so the answer for this question is D.